वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन ट्रांसियंट रिस्पॉन्स एनालिसिस सो हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वी हैव दिस सर्किट एंड इन दिस सर्किट दिस स्विच के दैट इज गेटिंग ऑन एट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो दिस स्विच के दैट इज गेटिंग ऑन एट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड वी आर डिल विथ टू फाइंड करंट आई ऑफ टी विच इज पासिंग through this link you can observe so whenever you have question based on transient response you should bisect situations in time frame so when t is less than 0 before t is equals to 0 switch was off and as if switch is off you don't have current in this loop right so let us consider first case when switch is off so when switch is off current passing through this loop that will be zero right now let us consider second case and in second case what we need to consider switch is on for t greater than or equal to zero so you see for t greater than or equal to zero switch is on so now i'm going to turn it on right now as if switch is on you will be having current in this loop that will happen because of this battery let us say this loop current is i so to identify the value of i we will apply kvl in this loop so in this loop we have just this battery which is happening from minus to plus so i need to write plus 1 voltage and that is equals to now you see in this loop voltage drop across 3 ohm resistance that is 3 into i plus वोल्टेज अक्रॉस इंडक्टर दैट इज एल डी आई बाई डी टी सो एल इज वन हियर एंड डी आई बाई डी टी दैट विल बी वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस वन हेनरी एंड वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस कैपेसिटर दैट इज वन बाई सी इंटीग्रेशन आई डी टी सो हियर वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस कैपेसिटर दैट इज वन बाई सी एंड सी इज हाफ इंटीग्रेशन आई डी टी लेट अस सिंप्लीफाई दिस so 1 is equals to 3i plus di by dt and this 2 will go in numerator so 2 integration i dt right and now i need to have this equation in form of differential equation so to get differential equation i need to remove this integration term and to remove integration term i'll have to differentiate this equation with respect to time so let us differentiate this equation with respect to time so differentiation of 1 that is 0 and differentiation of 3i now that will be 3 di by dt plus differentiation of di by dt that is d square i by dt plus differentiation of i dt that is i only so this will be 2i so let us rearrange this equation first so this is 0 is equals to d square i by dt square plus 3 di by dt plus 2i so now we have differential equation now my dear students if you have differential equation and if it is having power 2 then by normal differential solution which we were been solving it by previous examples that cannot be applicable so here all we need to do is we need to take laplace of that differential equation and we need to solve it by using laplace right so here if you apply laplace over here with this differential equation then double differentiation means s square into i plus 3 into single differentiation means s into i plus 2i right so here you will be having i common and this will be s square plus 3s plus 2 into i now if you want to solve this then you will have to identify the roots which is there with given differential equation so here if you observe we have s square plus 3s plus 2 so roots of 
a square plus 3s plus 2 is equals to 0 that will be there at s is equals to minus 1 and s is equals to minus 2. So you see a square plus 3s plus 2 that is s plus 1 into s plus 2. So that is making it to s square plus 3s plus 2. So two roots are there. One is there at s is equals to minus 1 and second is there at s is equals to minus 2. So we have two roots and based on that we can say that solution that is i is equals to constant k1 into e to the power c first root that is minus t plus constant k2 into e to the power second root that is minus 2t. So see based on this root we will be having solution of differential equation right. Now once we have the value of current in terms of equation i is equals to k1 into e to the power minus t plus k2 into e to the power minus 2t you will have to identify zero initial conditions and here we have two constants constant k1 and constant k2 so here we need to apply two zero initial conditions you see here one zero initial condition is at time t is equals to zero minus this switch is off and as if this switch is off current i is equals to zero so first zero initial condition that is at time t is equals to 0 minus current i is equals to 0 and that will gives you i is equals to 0 and then constant k1 e to the power 0 that is 1 plus constant k2 e to the power 0 that is also 1. So k1 plus k2 that is equals to 0 this is one equation let us say this is equation 1. Right. Now, what will be our second zero initial condition? So you see, when you press this switch, right, so at t is equals to 0 plus, the switch is getting closed and current will start to flow in this loop. But initially, you will be observing this capacitor will not be charged, right. So integration i dt, that will be 0 at time t is equals to 0 plus. So let me write this first. See second zero initial condition that will be at t is equals to zero plus when switch is on. So at the time current i is zero initially as well as integration i dt that is also zero. Right. Now you see if you apply that in this equation this is very essential. Right. Then you see one is equals to i is zero and integration i dt is 0 so di by dt that is equals to 1 at t is equals to 0 plus in this loop right so that will gives you 1 is equals to di by dt right as i is 0 and this integration is 0 now you see from this equation we can get di by dt right so if you differentiate this equation with respect to time then you see k1 into e to the power minus t differentiation is minus e to the power minus t plus k2 into differentiation of e to the power minus 2t that is minus 2 into e to the power minus 2t. Now that is equals to 1. So let us place t is equals to 0 in this. So 1 is equals to minus k1 e to the power 0 is 1 minus 2k2 e to the power 0 is 1 again. So we have this second equation. Now we have two equations, right? Let us solve these two equations. So one is k1 plus k2 that is equals to 0 and second is minus k1 minus 2k2 that is equals to 1. If you add this two, you will be having k2 minus 2k2 that is minus k2 that is equals to 1. So I can have k2 that is equals to minus 1, right? And as k2 is equals to minus 1, I can say k1 is equals to plus 1, right? So k1 that is equals to plus 1. So k1 and k2 that we have, so we can substitute that in this equation, right? So we'll be having current i that will be so whenever you have this type of question, all you need to do is you'll have to see how many constants are there. 
राइट एंड बेस्ड ऑन कॉन्स्टेंट यूल हैव टू अप्लाई जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन सो जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन इज नॉट ओनली टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन मीन्स टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो माइनस एंड टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो प्लस राइट सो एट जीरो माइनस करंट इज जीरो बट एट जीरो प्लस करंट इज जीरो बट अलॉन्ग विद दैट वॉट एवर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट वी हैव इन दैट ऑल्सो वी नीड टू प्लेस सब वैल्यूज एंड आई एल एक्सप्लेन फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक दिस सो दैट विल मेक श्योर हाउ यू कैन रिजॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेरीज आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो